lighter but stronger. This is the new trend that is changing our daily lives. From the essential electronic devices we use every day, such as computers, cell phones, and TVs, to cars, airplanes, and other modes of transportation, Industries around the world are turning their eyes to the hot topic of the day, lightweight materials. Magnesium, aluminum, titanium, and carbon fiber, all materials that are lighter than steel, have emerged as the blue chips of the 21st century. One example of an industry where advanced materials are in high demand is the sports industry. It takes more than the archer's talent to make an arrow hit the target. The bow has to be strong enough to withstand the force of the string and yet be light at the same time. This is an archery equipment manufacturer in Kyungido province. It currently has the highest share in the global market for archery equipment. Its development of bows made with new materials that are light yet strong completely change the market dynamics. Uh, this year, this Rio Olympic, the national national player, Jang Hye Jin, and Choi Mi Son, made a bow. In the 2016 Summer Olympics held in Rio de Janeiro, Korean athletes swept all four gold medals in archery. Nationality aside, nine out of 20 medalists used bows made by this company and won 12 medals in total. It was 20 years ago that Park Kyung Rae, the company's CEO, entered the bow manufacturing sector as a late starter. From brainstorming for new products to technology development and prototype testing, he is involved in every step of the process. Park used to be on the national archery team and coached both male and female national teams. 지도자로서 어, 목표를 달성한 이후에 실은 어, 활이 당시에 어, 가장 점유율이 높았던 미제호이터, 일제 야마 등의 성능에 대해서 개인적으로 불만이 좀 있었습니다. 훨씬 더잘 만들 수 있다라는 어, 있겠다라는 생각을 강하게 했고. Starting out with wooden bows, the company developed bows made of magnesium and aluminum alloy before turning to the strong yet light carbon fiber. That was when its technological prowess began to be recognized by the market. As the most important part of the bow, the limb is made by layering wood, plastic foam, and other materials underneath the carbon fiber. The faster the arrow, the less it is affected by wind, resulting in better performance. A test is conducted to see how different materials affect the speed of the arrow. First up is the wooden bow, which is often used by beginners. The speed of arrow shot by the wooden bow is 159 kilometers per hour. Next is the bow with a carbon fiber limb. The speed is 164 kilometers per hour. A speed difference of five kilometers per hour is critical. It can even change the color of the metal for the archer. Carbon 섬유를 이제 그 사용을 하면 이제 더 무게가 가벼워집니다. 활의 날개의 무게가 더 가벼워지고 이제 모듈러스가 상당히 높기 때문에. 즉 이제 그 조그만 변형이 일어나도 아주 높은 탄성률도 빠르게 쳐줄 수 있는 어떤 그런 특성이 있는 소재가 카본입니다. 그래서 날개에다 적용을 했을 때 화살의 스피드를 더 올릴 수가 있습니다. 
Here is a research institute where carbon fiber and other lightweight materials are studied. With a carbon content of 92% or more, carbon fiber is the output of a very tricky process. High polymer yarns are subject to several low temperature heat treatment cycles. Once they turn yellow, they are heated at a temperature of over 1000 degrees Celsius and then surface treated, turning them into black carbon fiber as we know it. Expected to emerge as the key material that will replace steel, carbon fiber is considered one of Korea's future growth engines. The biggest reason why carbon fiber is called the dream material is its strength. But can a thin strand of carbon fiber really pull a heavy mid-sized car? The answer is yes. A piece of steel wire that is of the same thickness as the carbon fiber is put to the test as well. Unlike its rival, which had easily hauled the car, the steel wire snaps the moment it is pulled. Carbon fiber is a super new material. Its weight one-fourth that of steel and yet ten times stronger. Thanks to these properties, it is not only found in our everyday life in cell phones and cars, but it's also used to build drones and aircraft in the aerospace industry. This medium-sized company in Miran manufactures carbon pre-prey that has good strength and elasticity as well as high-end sports equipment such as carbon bicycles. It actually started out as a small company that manufactured fishing rods. Now it possesses cutting-edge technologies for manufacturing aircraft parts and drones. Its success was all thanks to carbon fiber. The company currently exports chair back shells made of carbon fiber to international airlines. Faced with high oil prices, aircraft too are becoming more lightweight. This trend has naturally shifted the spotlight to the light but strong carbon material. In addition to the development of materials for aircraft, drone-related researches and development efforts are also underway. Using its forward-looking camera, the advanced VTOL drone can send accurate and real-time information on the size of forest fires, the speed at which they are spreading, and any movements nearby. 
It can also be used in other sectors, for example, to monitor illegal fishing activity. The company is currently involved in joint development efforts with Israel's state-run defense company. Another Korean company is focused on the development of major parts of passenger planes. This airline company, which provides passenger service, manufactures aircraft parts, and performs maintenance, repair, and overall activities, also has its eyes on carbon fiber. Engine을 싸고 있는 이 전체 페어링이 복합제로 만들어져 있습니다. 그리고 저기 동체랑 날개 사이를 저 부드럽게 연결시켜 주는 저 페어링도 복합제로 만들어져 있고요. 그리고 여기 메인 윙을 제외한 저런 컨트롤 서피스라고 하는 저런 날개 조정면들, 양력, 고양력 장치들도 전부 다 복합적으로 만들어져 있습니다. Replacing over 50% of the parts, such as the wings and fuselage, with composite carbon fiber materials can slash annual fuel expenses by a whopping 2.5 billion dollars. This company has also developed and is manufacturing its own sharklets, which are designed to minimize the plane's air resistance. When the wings are straight, a vortex forms behind the wings, increasing fuel consumption. Therefore, the winglets are curved in the shape of the letter L. What's special about these structures is that they are made of carbon fiber. The main thing is the weight of the weight. It's the most important thing to put it there. It's the most important thing to make it a beautiful shape. It's the most important thing to make it a beautiful shape. 그래서 뭐 항공기 공기 역학적으로 부드러운 형상을 만들기 위해서 산소 손질 복합제가 아주 최적의 자재라고 말할 수 있습니다. With the demand for parts gradually increasing in the aviation and aerospace industries, the market for lightweight materials is also expanding. 전용화 소재들이 시장 규모는 15년 기준으로 한 175조. 근데 그게 한 향후 한 7년 뒤에는 475조 정도 한 3배 정도로 빠른 속도로 성장할 걸로 예상을 하고 있습니다. The lightweight trend can be witnessed in the global automobile industry too. Next generation vehicles that emit less exhaust fumes are lighter and have better fuel efficiency cannot be realized without lightweight materials. The magical car that can travel 100 kilometers on a liter of fuel is made of magnesium, another lightweight material. To dominate the future automobile market in advance, Korea has launched research and development activities related to lightweight materials for vehicles led by the central and local governments, as well as corporations. The electric vehicles that are studied at this institute use many parts made of aluminum, another lightweight material. Aluminum is steel steel. Aluminium所以它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是非常大的。它是
보시는 바와 같이 뭐 전부 알루미늄 소재로 이루어지지 않았습니까? Aluminum is very light, weighing one third of steel and does not rust. Relatively cheap compared to other lightweight materials, it has recently emerged as a popular material in the automobile industry. The competitiveness of electric vehicles, as well as self-driving cars and other next-generation vehicles, will be determined by the use of lightweight materials that are strong yet light. 자동차의 연비란 차량의 무게를 줄이면 그 줄인 만큼의 연비로 이어지는 효과가 납니다. 그래서 일부분의 그 무게를 줄이기 위해서 스틸에서 알루미늄 소재로 계속 바꿔 나가고 있습니다. Using all lightweight materials that are currently available from aluminum and magnesium to carbon fiber and titanium, the automobile industry has become the site of fierce competition among companies across the globe. And it is here that Korean companies equipped with advanced technologies and cost competitiveness are discovering new opportunities. This startup, which was founded five years ago, supplies automobile parts such as accelerators and brake pedals. Being light yet solid, magnesium is known as the optimal material to use for car parts. However, it has a critical weakness that must be overcome. Magnesium can be used for car parts. However, it has a critical weakness that must be overcome. Magnesium can be used for car parts. However, it has a critical weakness that must be overcome. 부식이 많이 발생된다는 부분입니다. 이런 부분을 막기 위해서는 표면 체력이 필수적인데 그 부분이 상당히 좀 까다롭습니다. This company has solved the problem by developing an innovative surface treatment technology called Tech Arc Coating. It prevents corrosion by creating an oxide film on the surface of lightweight materials. Because the method uses plasma at low voltage, it minimizes any damage to the raw material and actually improves the material's strength. The technology is also called eco-friendly for it uses alkalines rather than strong acids and does not emit any harmful substances. 해외 같은 경우는 미국 전기 자동차에 있는 테슬라 부분에 저희들 베다 세트에 적용이 되고 있습니다. 그리고 국내 같은 경우는 H사의 엔진 미션 쪽에 있는 셀 부분에 저희들 적용 검토 중에 지금 있습니다. 그리고 지금 여러 이제 미국이라든지 독일이라든지 일본 자동차 회사에서 계속 러브콜을 받고 있는 상황입니다. The company currently supplies accelerators and brake pedals to a famous EV manufacturer in the US, having beat a large Japanese supplier. Having started from scratch with only his technologies to rely on, CEO Yu Jae-young now strives to accomplish his new goal of applying Korea's surface treatment technology in the aerospace industry as well. The center studies titanium, another lightweight material. Welding a titanium ore and applying electricity turns it into liquid at high temperature, creating lumps of ingot titanium. As a second mover in the market, however, Korea does not have any source technology and imports all ingot and sheet titanium it uses. The government is currently providing active support to secure the core technologies related to titanium, a high-value-added material that is used for biomedical goods. 고비 강도. 고비 강도는 뭐냐면 무게 대비 강도가 어느 소재보다 좋다라는 뜻입니다. 그다음에 내식성. 
이 내식성이라는 말은 결국에 인체에 들어가서도 전혀 이제 부작용이 없다라는 것이죠. Titanium is used as the metal for diverse forms of bio implants, including dental implants and artificial joints and bones. Titanium으로 된 implant, 즉 인공 지근을 식립하는 시술을 할 예정입니다. A dental implant is an artificial tooth fixed on top of an artificial root. Which is shaped like a screw and is inserted into the bone of the jaw. 과거에 그런 틀니를 썼던 환자들이 임플란트를 식립해서 인공 보철물을 하고 시행해서 음식물을 섭취하고 이러는데 그 과거 틀니에 비하면 비교할 수 없을 정도의 그런 기능이 훨씬 더 심는 기능이나 또. 치아가 상실됐을 때 심리적인 문제들이 또 생기기도 하는데 이러한 부분들이 많이 회복이 됐습니다. When performing a dental implant surgery, Dr. Jung's top concern is how well the prosthesis has attached to the bone. After giving the problem much thought, he came up with a solution himself. 베이스톤 However, thanks to their outstanding processing technologies, many are making their ways into the overseas markets, including the U.S. and Europe. Uh, implant 표면 처리를 하게 되면, 즉 뼈가 잘 불, 붙을 수 있도록 implant 표면을 거칠게 한다든지 또는 거기에 어떤 뼈 성분을 붙인다든지 해서. Once an importer of medical goods made of titanium, Korea has now emerged as an exporter. Korean companies are catching up with the European players, driven by the diligence of entrepreneurs, Korea's delicate and meticulous metal technologies, and now its surface treatment technologies. Joint efforts by the government, the private sector, and local governments will place Korea alongside advanced nations in no time in the titanium industry. 과거 어, 저희들은 영일만 개벌해서 모든 사람들이 불가능하다고 생각했던 아, 포스코라는 위대한 아, 제철소를 육성한 경험을 가지고 있습니다. 그러한 경험을 토대로 어, 다시 새로운 경량 소재 육성이라는 도전을 시작해야 되는 시점이라고 생각을 합니다. Advanced lightweight materials like magnesium, carbon fiber, titanium and aluminum have fully grabbed the world's attention. Dominating this industry is a must to emerge as an advanced country. These materials are the foundation of aerospace industry as well as robots, electric vehicles, and much more. Now, Korea is left for the task of actively conducting research and making investments in the field. After all, in the eyes of the global community, it is a rising star in the material industry.